I want to make a friend on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> They, they, they don't speak the same language, but they, they understand what lip gloss is all about. I don't know. Any beauty tips for her? <laughs> I think she's got some for you. <laughs> Wear more lip gloss. <laughs> in over two years of living in Lemonade, we have stayed the night in so many interesting places. We've been at gorgeous campgrounds. We've boondocked at spots that will blow your mind. And dare we say, we have stayed at gas stations. Some of the places we find by accident and others are intentional. But no matter what, the ability to find a different place to stay the night is one of the main reasons that makes traveling in a motorhome so amazing. Good morning from Norway. We are in Merdinis, Mer Mer something. It's a port town. It's a town that we're gonna take on a ferry. I'm gonna try something that I've never tried before, something really dangerous. So if you're an RV driver, never try this yourself because I'm a pro I'm gonna drive from where I'm parked right here to like a hundred meters away with Jessica still asleep here and with Largo and Avalon still asleep in their beds this is Blake. this is really dangerous oh. I promise I to, uh, to exceed more than five miles an hour and uh, I think I'm gonna attach crash helmets to all the kids heads just because I'm sleeping I've been awake for a while <laughs> I'm just keeping the bed warm for you to you come back this is this is RV driving 303 <laughs> that we're doing right now. This is what it looks like all here. There's back of camera. It's a car. This is my dash cam. It sits there a lot. And our GPS, which actually floats around. And check out the front. This is no joke. This is like messy junk that just sits there all day. When we said we we're gonna do these daily vlogs, we were asking ourselves, should we clean up the RV? Should we make this place sort of pleasantly immaculate so that you can look at us going, wow, look, they're like Susie Homemaker in the RV. I am, we'd clean up the kitchen. So that is, <laughs> you're not gonna live in disgust going, oh my gosh, I live like that. We do have a label maker in our Amazon outbox that we're thinking about buying, but at this point, I don't think it's gonna make it to, to this RV life because what? we're a just- A label maker? I, I thought about it. No, I did. you're kidding, right? No, I did. I thought about it so we can label things, but I don't think we're that, really that organized. So we're- Who would do that in an RV? There are people who've done that. In an RV? Yes. Yes. I'm not gonna name names. You know who you are. Oh, God. <laughs> Hold on, we're moving, and what? and we're getting in the RV, and Jessica's trying to get out of the bed at the same time. This is real, real RV mastery right here. Just hold on to the, are you off yet? Okay. I'm out of the bed. She's out of the bed. Okay. So we're still not going more than, at this point, three kilometers an hour. We're officially going faster than a turtle. Look at this. It's a beautiful, beautiful ferry. We're getting up there. I can see the heavens parting and we're getting on board. And next thing, oh, there you go. There's the uphill. <laughs> Kids, brace yourself. I'm gonna hit the brake soon. In like 30 seconds. We gotta prepare the kids. They're not really used to this stuff. All right. Up. It's so cold. Up we go. Okay, everyone. Man your bag. Quick! Let's get out of here. Can I take? Largo, get hurry out. up. No, I'm changing. Okay, you're changing. Go, 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 <laughs> the, go, go. The, the, the pressure is real, people. Let's go. <laughs> so I just want to put clothing. I don't want to have to put clothing in the, on the boat in my bed jammies. Okay. <laughs> That's my only request. We're basically looking at a three and a half hour ferry ride and we're preparing as if we're going on the Titanic for a week. <laughs> Oh, he's an elevator on this one. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, boy. There we go. Look at this. She ain't fancy, but she's clean. And there's beds right there. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. There's everyone sleeping.
It is an early morning ferry around a 7 a.m. departure and there are tons of people here. Well, I say tons, it's off season, which means that there's like more than 50 people. It is, it's breakfast time. There's coffee and, and I'm gonna get myself like a whole jug because I was up late last night editing. Yeah, that it's time to get, get cracking here. Although this was not a particularly rough crossing, I, for some reason, always have a harder time on smaller ferries, and this one was no exception. How are you feeling? Did anyone come check on me? No, you were asleep. I was really sick. You were not really sick. I was actually really sick. You would have come fetched us if you no, were No, I was, sick. I really felt bad. And then I started thinking to myself, how am I ever gonna go on a sailboat, Will? We'll have lots of cheese, don't worry about it. <laughs> so we've now landed in Boda and it is 10.20 in the morning. It's like we just woke up <laughs> and yet we worked all day long in, 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 well, I worked all day long, someone slept, but nevertheless. I was sick. We're, we're not harping on that. Okay, we all know that I don't put on my seatbelt either. But the objective today, the adventure today, besides just trying to stay awake, is is basically we are going to find a place because today is a Monday, and Monday means one thing. And now that we're in September, it really means a really big thing. It means school day, work day. And so we need to find a spot that's going to be scenic so that the kids don't find out that they're actually in school and they actually love, like what they're doing. And then we are going to... We also need gas. We need too. gas, we need propane. As we travel through Norway, we are trying our best to stay away from grocery stores and eat up whatever we have in lemonade. But every now and then, we have to make an exception and dip into a local supermarket. So I'm coming into the grocery store without Will because whenever he comes with me, he ends up getting a couple of bags and of all kinds of snacky stuff. And I'm really trying to eat through all the stuff that we provisioned and not spend much money here because groceries are super expensive. So my plan is I'm gonna get eggs. Um, our friends Mal and Mish said that the eggs were affordable here. So I had about four dozen when we came, but we've already blown through those. So I'm gonna get some eggs. I'm gonna get out of here, just one or two items, and that's it without Will. Okay, I'm guessing I can't make fun of Will anymore because I got more than eggs. They had some awesome looking bread. We always need hummus, fruits, and we had these at a bakery the other day. They are so yummy. I could not resist. Got so tired of waiting. Got tired of the chase. I've been feeling like lately. There's nothing in the way. Getting so impatient. Need to get away now with you. With you. So we are now getting ready to stop for the night. We have, we've got, we haven't done that far today. Now, the idea that we're trying to do with all of these yeah, you do little days. The night, right? Well, we're stopping for the night, Largo. We're not stopping, we're not stopping at night. We're not going to bed. Technicalities are a big thing in our family <laughs> and we try, we try to allow them to, to self-express themselves as, as much as possible. <laughs> to the point now we're arguing this stuff. Okay. <laughs> I just want to know for the record that all the vlogs from Scandinavia, notice where I'm sitting. Notice, I'm the driver and Will's just relaxing over here, just chilling out. I edit these videos for you guys. <laughs> Only that. You wouldn't be able to see this wonderful goodness. I just want to put that little asterisk there. Yeah, there you go. All right, so we are looking for a place to spend the night, correct? Yeah. We're trying at this point to, to what, make them an hour, an hour and a half a day driving? Yeah, I mean, we want to kind of drive a little bit each day so that we can see the beautiful scenery and be out in nature. However, today we're going to stay put for two days because tomorrow night we have uh, World Towning uh, Voyages Q&A for our Morocco trip and we have our first World Towning University class starting, so. We found a place and we're almost there, so. Um, stay tuned. Yeah. This, oh my goodness, I don't want to leave here for a week. Later today, we're going to share all of our secrets of how we find these fabulous spots on World Towning. What is this, a TV commercial? <laughs> Stay tuned. Coming up after the commercial. Your destination is on the right. Yay, we there found it. We love it. Thank you, Google. I'm so glad we made it. 
Whoa, look at this spot. And look, there's a table right there. This is the best spot ever. Oh, you know what we should do? We should take some of Avalon's caution tape and go string it across the top and then no one will come. You think so? I think crime scene. Crime scene. I think we I hope it doesn't become a crime scene. Gosh, that almost feels like a self-fulfilling prophecy. All right, all right. Let's let's not let's not <laughs> let's not go there yet. <laughs> we have a fire extinguisher. Could take anyone out with that baby. What? Wow, look at this place. So ours. And that's gonna be ours for all day. Anyone that comes, you can't have it. Look at what we have. Okay, so I'm gonna take a walk in my socks. Actually, I'm not gonna take a walk in my socks. I did that yesterday with the drone, and now I have holes in my socks. I am super impressed with what we have here. We have lake, we have isolation, we have Norway. We have, at this point also, check this out, an Avalon who is sitting at our private table. We reserve this table. There's a Norway reservation system, which does not exist, but we're pretending it does because it sounds really good for the vlog. Look at this. A lake. And listen, there's no one. It's quiet. There's no sound on the road. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Avalon. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be the best two days ever? It's cold. You think it's cold? Yes. It doesn't feel that cold. It's, it's warmer than when we were in the lof lofton... Lofoten Islands. Oh, then I wouldn't even think about going outside. But look at this. It's sunny. It's perfect. It's cold. Oh, whatever. You could be in a classroom right now asking, can I go to the bathroom? What would you rather have? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 no! no! I am a bit embarrassed to admit this because you guys are looking for us, looking to us for expert or pseudo expert advice. We made an RVing 101 boondocking novice mistake. We parked, got ourselves all situated, got our chairs out, thought we had found the best spot ever, started working and guess what? The Wi-Fi is really bad here. And we have to move because Largo has a couple online classes tonight and then we have two things that we're teaching tomorrow night online. So I wouldn't call it a mistake. I what mean, is it? We were, we were working fine when we landed here, so we had no reason to question it. Yeah, it was working fine, but it was and it but it got got sketchy and also won't it won't work fine for video, which is what we need it for. So we have packed up everything. We're quite disappointed to leave this spot because I think it's one of the best spots we've seen we've found so far, but it is what it is. I think the the Norse gods are looking down upon us with, with disdain. And saying, You are not worthy of being in my palace. I really hope we don't end up at a truck stop for two days. Avalon. What would Thor say at this case? <laughs> Behold! No, wait, I like am it. Thor! Evelyn? I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't think of it. It's been a while since we've watched a Thor He says, movie. He would say, Margo. get back on the road and get better Wi-Fi. Get back to work. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, we got to go. I'm super... You know, I think when I get really upset, I just put this Carmex on, like, neurotically. <laughs> so... We just drive like another five kilometers. We'll be out of this ravine. We'll be okay. Yeah, I guess. But this is beautiful in this ravine. What is that? Your your emergency brake. Okay. It's not my first time driving, really, guys. This is nice. Okay. Any any, any preference of where to park? Where we're flat. Okay. So with that, we found spot number two. I just don't want to tell you guys because I'm embarrassed to again, but we this is our third spot we've tried since that last one because we were dead set on getting something out in nature and not with a bunch of other people around. Well, I like it more than the other ones. You do? Oh, good. Okay. Because it took all day to find this. <laughs> Daddy and I work in the night shift tonight. So at this point, we're going to do what we didn't do last time, which is we got to do a quick Wi-Fi test. But the fact that Larg was in school right now and he's maintaining a conversation over Skype, that's, that's really good, a good sign. Um, what we usually do is we'll use speed test. It's a speedtest.net. It's a website. It's also an app. And the speed that I'm getting is, what am I getting? 14, 15, 14, 15 megabytes per second. Is that good? That's very good. There you go. Upload is about 14, 15. There is no complaints with that. We are good to go. <laughs>
Netflix. Get, no, not Netflix. It's get to work. Get to school. Come on, you live for this stuff. No, I don't. Round two. Now, do we have too many pairs of shoes in here? Oh, what we didn't film today to show you guys in this whole process, I backed into a guardrail and this fell off. I think we could just glue it back on. Is that our glory, most glorious moment? I don't even want to go there. Let's just pretend I didn't do that. And that's the second one that's happened to. Will did the first one. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> what we also have here is a fire pit, which is fantastic. And a view of, I don't know, meadows. It's really pretty. There's definitely something to the boondocking experience, which is majestic because you really feel at that point free and independent and not tethered to anything. We have the sun, we have solar, we have Wi-Fi. We're tethered to that, but lucky for that, that sort of, there's nothing to plug in. And, and we can just be anywhere now. We have enough water to survive. We have enough gasoline to last us to the next gas station. We're actually running pretty low. And um, we have firewood. So if anything goes wrong, you know, we can always cook up a fire, but we have plenty of, anyway, we're, we're well stocked. We have plenty of food. Remember all that food we bought in Estonia? We still have a ton of that left. Except for the fact that Jessica feels the urge to buy more food wherever she goes. It's, it's not me, it's, it's her. So this is where we are and this is fantastic. Now we found today it took a, it took a long time to get to this destination. This spot which honestly it's not my favorite spot that we stayed at today. Today <laughs> <laughs> because there's been a lot of them. I loved where we were, but the reality of it is we can't do work in school if we don't have Wi-Fi. And that happens so seldom. Right. But I'm that, not really too concerned at this point about having a picnic table and a lake because no, we have, we have a fire mounds, pit. we've got fire pits, flowers. And, and we have our own table and we have our own chairs. So, and privacy. And I think at this point, we could have actually been bothered by another guy pulling in at that spot. So we could have lost our privacy. We could have. Maybe. This place, I... No, I, I, I'd be I'd be shocked oh, right. if someone else so, shows up. So how do we find this? How do we figure out where we're gonna stay? We have a couple of things we use. We use some apps. We use apps. Well, let, let, let's start with the easy stuff and then go with the hard stuff. Okay. All right. So the easy stuff is that we ask other people. So we have yeah. we have we know several travelers who are out there. Even we know vans. people. We know people who know people. <laughs> And we know van lifers, we know RVers, we know current RVers, past RVers, and we all chat. And right, if we right. see on their Instagram, they're staying at someplace cool and we're heading that way, you better believe we're messaging them like, where are you staying? Where was that? So that's one. That's one. Number two is if we're actually staying at a coffee shop, we'll ask someone. We ask where, a local. Where, where can we stay? Uh, where can we stay? Say. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and they give us a couple of recommendations. We haven't used a lot of those, to tell you the truth. We have not. We have not. We'll ask, but honestly, typically, we have something kind of in our mind already from the two apps, the primary two apps that we use, where we're like, wow, this looks like pretty good on the app, so let's just go there. It's, we use iOverlander and Park for Night. We primarily use Park for Night. Park for Night is our is our prime go-to because it's just it's it's so well used. It, it, there's, there's reviews, there's pictures. iOverlander is fantastic. I like it because it's van lifers, but usually yeah. van lifers go off the grid where sometimes lemonade can't, can't go. go. <laughs> so you know we use remember it. our turkey one where she got stuck in a ravine. <laughs> right, and and there's just a little bit of just an obstacle here and there that we have to go through. There's other ones out there, and and you know you use whichever one you like best. We only stay in campgrounds about 20% of the time, and most of that was right in the beginning when we started RVing and right after we got robbed. Other than that, we really try to stay off the grid as much as possible. With this RV, we can go off the grid for a couple days before we need water and kind of recharging and, and dumping our water and poop and all that kind of stuff. But here in Norway, this place is is a boondocking heaven. It's amazing. I if, mean, if you have to use a campground, it's because you either have to do laundry or because you right. need electricity We've that you just have to. We've used one campground we stayed so one night far, and, it was, and it was only because we had a package being delivered yeah. and we decided to do laundry at the same time. But I don't think we'll be doing that again. No, I don't no. think we need to. If we're driving yeah. every day, we don't need to, we don't need to worry to. about electricity. So guys, we hope you are geared up for another, what, two weeks of daily vlogs. Yep. And um, give it a thumbs up, tell your friends, share. Our goal is to show you bits and pieces of the nature of Norway and, and just a lot of the nature basically. And 
share more about how we do this world towning life like really getting into the deeper stuff that you guys message us about um, a little more thorough so today you learned how we find these great places to sleep you know what i love about these series now what is that i feel like we're like teaching you guys now and it's you know oh, yeah well we like mentors i don't know Ooh, either way we're gonna that's such we're, a big responsibility we're gonna end this now but but <laughs> i i will you come along this ride with us <laughs> okay we gotta go bye guys all right bye so, Largo, how much more school do you have left? So, I'm probably not going to uh, get it, which is really bumming because they said we only really get it. About... It's been active subscribe. Almost 45 minutes. So I have to, okay. Um, and... So you getting ready for bed? I'm ready for bed. Okay. My bed. Good night. <laughs> Goodbye.